so this is the part two of my videos on handlebars templating engine and in this video I am going to tell you about how we can use partial templates uh, inside the handlebar main templates so let's start over here we have a JSON data set with a number of different objects so in these objects there are a number of different properties uh, like there is an ID, there is name, gender, company, email and then there are some objects which have their values as arrays like for example there is a property called as friends and then friends contains an array of objects which then have properties of ID and name so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to create a template for this uh, person and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a partial template for each individual friend of this person so let's start first of all let's create the template for the person and for that we can create a script tag with the type value as text handlebars template and then let's also assign an ID to it and I'm just going to set the ID as template now in the onload function we can create we can compile the template text into into a compiled template so let's call it compiled template and we are going to create this object using handlebars dot compile function and then we will send in the template text as an argument so as of now we don't have any template text but we are going to have the the template blueprint in a short while and the ID of the script tag which is holding the template is template itself and then we can send in the inner HTML of this script tag to the compile function as an argument and that's it alright and so now let's move on to uh, creating the template for the for the individual contacts now for the template let's first have a div and let's apply some styling to it so okay let's have the display as block because uh, I because I'm thinking of having boxes like basically round cornered boxes side by side so we need to set the display as block for the div and then set, let's set the float as left and then there should be some padding let's also set the margin and then the border and then finally let's have some let's have some border radius alright so we have our div uh, you know what let's also have a fixed width to make it look somewhat better with 400 pixel size now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tokens for uh, let's say for ID and then for name gender company email and phone uh, we can also take more of them but for right now let's just have four or four to five of them so that we can quickly create the sample code so first is the ID and the name of the property is underscore ID 
and then let's put a put a line break you know what I'm just going to copy this for a number of lines and then let's have the name gender and company and then there is the email oops and then there is the phone alright so let's see if the if the template is successfully getting created or not for the input data or should I say the template is successfully getting combined with the input data or not so to do that let's just set the inner HTML of the container div by combining the compiled template with the input data uh, actually we also have to put an each token because we want to repeat the div for every individual person and let's also iterate over a specific property name and let's name it persons now what I'm going to do is basically this entire JSON array is being passed into a property which is uh, which is named as data so I'm just going to send in an object with single property I'm sorry with the name as persons and the value of the person is going to be retrieved from window dot data and that's it let's see if it's working or not so as you can see we have four five six we have six different contacts with uh, different information uh, so all right so that was the easy part now uh, let's come to the partial templates which is the reason why I'm creating this video so partial templates are basically sub templates which can be uh, which can be created in a separate script tag and we can reuse them in different parent template or we can use them uh, individually by combining them with input data so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a partial template for this individual friend object or you know what let's create a partial template for the entire friends friend list and I'm going to put uh, this friend list in a table so for that let's have another div now in this div I'm going to write the name of the partial template so let's name it partial template and then let's also put a friends after it to identify it as a as a partial template for friends and then let's have another script tag with the type as text handlebars template and then we can set the ID as let's set the ideas um, okay partial or maybe partial template now in this partial template we can create a table and let's have a header row for this table now this friend object has an ID and an, a name as its properties so I'm going to create two columns for them for the ID and for the name now for the 
rest of the information I'm again going to use an each token now what will happen is for every for every single friend object inside this friends array this entire template is going to be recreated or it is going to be generated for every individual individual friend and let's have the ID and there is the name of our friend now let's okay all right let's also put a heading over here friend list now we have our template with us for the for the friend list which uh, which is which we want to act as a partial template inside this main template so for that we need to register this partial template with the handlebars library and we can do that by using the register partial function so the register partial function accepts two arguments the first one is the name of the partial template so the name is this partial template friends which we have used in the main template and then we need to supply the template text so the template text can be retrieved from this script tag with the id partial template and then we just need to read the inner html and that's it so uh, did we missed something no i don't think so okay let's see if it is working or not and it is not working the partial partial template friends could not be found okay I think okay I have missed the name of the property over here and then all right so this is the mistake that I'm doing actually I'm registering the partial before the main template is being combined with the input data alright so it's working now so as you can see apart from the usual information we also have the friend list with the table uh, there is the ID and there is the name so this partial template can be used inside the main template and it can also be used separately by compiling this entire template text into an individual template function so that we can reuse it as per our requirements in our applications so that's it that's all for this video and I hope that you will find this video informative for any questions please use the comments section and thank you for listening to me have a good day